Hey, Carl, thanks so much for doing this. Congrats on the victory. Uh, must feel really, really nice, especially by the sounds of those celebrations. So this was a very back and forth game for you. Uh, or well, for, And when I say you, I mean Team Bauer. Can you talk about just, you know, I guess the general conversations as it, as it seemed closer and closer that you guys were, were approaching towards this win? Uh, and with that, the asset that Jesse Eldridge has been all the way through from Montreal. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it was... Uh... It was two nothing. We we felt pretty comfortable with the pressure we were pushing on, and and you know they came back and uh, answered, uh, you know at the end of the second. So we knew we needed to like step up and everything in the third. But leading up to that time, like I thought that our team stuck together. I mean you. You mentioned her, and and it's funny because Jessie is actually my roommate, and I I have so much love for her. She is amazing, and and what she brings to our team is is uh, everything from the fun, the smiles, but also her game on the ice. You always can count on her to get a, a really uh, important goal usually. And, and she did it again today. And, and you know, it's, uh, I just put it on that and she was able to like bring in and make it uh, beautiful and make a goal out of it and, and bring us uh, kind of like to the one nothing mark. And it was just a good game. We were happy to be there and uh, um, happy that our fans could see it. Um, and I was really happy we didn't get to go in OT <laughs> by any means uh, with Pooh and scoring that goal. But yeah, Jesse, uh, you know, Jill kind of like alluded to it, but all year long we practiced and we played scrimmage against each other. And um, every time Jesse was on my team, I was really happy actually. So uh, it, it is the kind of player that kind of can turn, turn it on and, and get those important goals for us. And she sure did tonight again. And lastly, your emotions hoisting the secret cup. <laughs> ah, it was it was it was awesome. It was awesome to be able to win it with uh, with you know the the friends that you've you've played alongside for a long time in the C Dub and and uh, you know getting this this kind of uh, reward at the end of a tough year like this season and. Uh, it was it was just amazing. I was like uh, sitting at the blue well, uh, sitting at the blue line and just watching everyone and and having you saw Jill like it, she she made it seem like it was so important and these girls play on the world uh, at the world level and everything and they they know how important it is to to build what we are building here and and you know towards this cup uh, <laughs> it was. Uh, there's no words to describe it. It was uh, it was amazing. It was what we wanted, and uh, we came here to to do this and to do it with our friends. Uh, was even better, actually. It, it was amazing. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Drew Jones. Hey there. So I just wanted to um, get your perspective on just the bigger picture here. Um, it feels like it's a little bit of a turning point for for professional women's hockey specifically, um, having you know this being televised nationally and NHL teams taking more of an interest. So how is the support from national television and the NHL teams? How is that shaping the future of women's hockey? Yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's amazing. It's, it kind of gives us a, a little bit of attraction type of mode and looking forward to next year, even, uh, and past the Olympics too and, and whatnot. But, uh, we're certainly going to build off of this, uh, this year, you know, we, we were almost going to say, okay, let's put it in the book and we'll do whatever we can in September. And now having this opportunity uh, and having these teams stepping up uh, on the U.S. side, on the Canadian side to to help out and, and make sure that they wanted women's hockey to be seen and Sportsnet to do extra uh, to put us on TV in primetime, Cassie Campbell to, you know, all the shows and the help that she did and everything. Like, this is, this is what we are fighting for. This is what we want. And we want these uh, type of opportunities and visit that type of visibility to to be attached to women's hockey and and uh, I, I just think the momentum is there and and we're certainly going to kind of like feed off of it and and uh, keep on working at it for next year and um, it's not gonna you know it's Olympic year centralization we're still gonna have events we're still gonna do things and and when they come back from it the league and what we need to be doing uh, will certainly be there so it's a uh, it's kind of a it's a good way to end this uh, this year uh, on a good note and kind of like build off of it and then see how we can get there uh, in the following years. Yeah. All right. Uh, time for a couple more here. So we'll go to Mike Murphy. Hey, Grill. Um, as someone who, you know, playing D, having to step back and step into that role for your team, it really felt like the penalty kill was great and really came up big in this game. And also I was wondering if you could talk about the game that Anne Renee had. She really made a lot of big saves and, you know, every game between 
these two teams was really decided by one goal. You know, obviously the empty netter made it a two goal game, but all these games were so close. And this one, yeah. fittingly enough, was really close. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you're, I mean, Anne Renee played awesome. She played awesome in her first game, too, against Sonnet. And then, the, you know, we, we were lucky. Uh, a good problem in a sense that we had three amazing goaltenders. And, uh, uh, you know, what you, MASH played awesome in her game, too. And so did Jen. They, they kept us in the game the whole time. And, and Shay did awesome, too, against us today. And, and I think that, that, you know, within or throughout this, this whole secret on, or the Canadian tour, uh, you saw, like, we have a lot of talent in that, and uh, that's why the games were, were tight, and uh, that's why, you know, uh, not taking any credit off of ourselves, us forwards and defensemen by any means, but um, I think that the goaltenders showed up and they, they kept us uh, going. And, and, you know, you don't see any games all year, and these girls showed up and, and they make the saves, the crazy ones, the, the good ones. Um, she was certainly a uh, help for us, uh, and so did this did Emirates and, and Jen. Um, and I think that any other team would say the same thing about their goaltenders too. So um, they found a way this year to stay uh, – stay uh, fit per se and and stay kind of like focused although they weren't playing at all and and you know goaltenders are are always a major factor and you see it on the men's side too in the nhl in the playoffs if you have the goalies they they go further right so um and did what she needed to do and uh she kept us in and and again she was a wall for us so um really lucky to have her on our side too thanks so much okay last question please uh gabby dunham Hi there, thank you. Um, Jill mentioned something earlier about wanting to use this tournament to show little girls not only how much hard work you've all put in, but also the fun and the energy that you all have. What does it mean, especially as you're moving forward in the momentum of the sport, what do you want little girls to really take from what you are all doing? Yeah, I mean, you, you, yes, she mentioned it. We obviously want to create this league, this opportunity to, um, you know, they can make a living out of playing hockey and their passion. But we also want them to know that um, it is fun to play hockey. It is fun to play women's hockey. Our game is amazing. The people around the game and the people that support it too uh, are just great people. And, and, you know, you can accomplish whatever you want and and if they can see it they can you know be it and so having this right now having this secret dream grand tour uh this year having at least one 10 day uh type of tournament with uh sportsnet covering us like from end to end um it's an opportunity for them to to just sit in front of a tv see us smile see us score a goal see us work or bum off per se <laughs> and just just see how passionate we are and and that is okay to be passionate that it's okay to be emotional it's okay to to want to win and and then want more for uh our sport and and i think that <clears throat> we want to inspire them obviously and we want to make sure that they see they have they have room and they can be who they want to be um but at the end of the day we also want to make sure that they um, know they belong regardless of how emotional they can be, how intense they can be, how, you know, fit, muscular, whatever it is that uh, hockey is there for them. And it's a, it's a sport that they should want to, you know, push towards to and become, uh, I guess, a professional athlete in the end. Uh, so Jill alluded to it, but, um, and we, it's kind of been our motto and our values too. And what we want to achieve is just like, don't quit. This is this is okay, and um, we want to create a space for you guys to to be it and be those professional that we can, you know, in a couple of years watch um, and say, hey, we were part of this, and now we're watching them, and and they're living the dream, and this is where and why we want to do this. So.